this is Joe Sneaker. This is my report on Decentraland. As you can see, there's an interface where you can change your view. Tells you how to move around the keyboard using the keyboard. I have not tried this in virtual reality yet. But so far, this part reminds me of Grand Central Station. Now, I must admit, the music is catchy. Catchy, real catchy music. I like it. But anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm in disguise here. The sound is superb, but I'm a little apprehensive because the first thing they tell you, if you want an account, you have to give them a wallet. That's the first thing they ask for, a wallet. You believe that? Anyway, <laughs> we're on our way to Xmas land. And this elf is trying to get me to go in there and help him with something. But I'm not reading those messages. I'm just watching the, you know, the screen load and I'm just trying to find my way around and see what this thing is about. Because people have paid $4.6 million just to have some land in Decentraland. And I don't understand the hype over Decentraland. I don't. So far, it looks like a huge Monopoly board. Nothing wrong. I don't have anything against a Monopoly board, but I was not good at Monopoly. I wasn't good at all. I, I was like, I mean, I didn't do well with with Monopoly's money. Okay. <laughs> that was a game that didn't go on forever. But I don't, I don't remember. Maybe I won that game maybe less than five times out of all the times I've ever played it. Most people get bored and quit anyway. However, I digress. So this, to me, feels like I'm on this huge Monopoly board, but I have to play with my own money. So I'm, I want to let you know right now, if I didn't do well with Monopoly's money, what makes you think <laughs> I'm going to fare any better using mine? I mean, I could buy an apartment building. Oh, that's right. I forgot you got to buy a piece of land first. I could buy a piece of land. And I, I could build something or pay somebody to build something on it. And then all I have is some place to live. Now, there's so many people talking about flipping properties, which to me, hey, do you, do you? But I don't know. It's risky at best. Even the experts say that buying land in the metaverse is the riskiest investment that you can do in today's market. All that may change. My question is, who says that your particular metaverse or your part of it is going to be a monopoly on that space? I mean, we're talking the metaverse. Places, all someone has to come up with is a new computer, a new data farm, throw a game on it. And then you have Decentraland, part two. I don't know. That's my report. <laughs> I'm Joe Sneaker. Peace. I'm out.